Radio Raheem here with James DeGaulle. Listen, man, you're in the States. You you don't fight at home. You fight on the road all the time. <laughs> how, how did it feel coming out of this fight, feeling that you had won like by a margin, and then hearing not only that the yeah. judges disagreed, yeah. but that the crowd boot? Well, I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit speechless, if I'm being honest. No, but you know what? Paul Gimme Dinner showed me that he's a tough, strong fighter. But I batted him. I was even getting hit with screw shots to the chin, uppercuts to the chin. Mate, I'm not, I'm not having that. <laughs> it looked like he was giving you a lot of pressure, especially to the body. He was missing a lot, weren't he, though? He was swinging, missing. I was showing my levels, I was getting my levels. I was lazy in there, laying on the ropes. I was making it entertaining for the fans, but I shouldn't really do that. Paul Kim, someone of Paul Kim Medina's calibre shouldn't be going 12 rounds with me. But listen... It's still a learning thing for me. I've only had 23 fights, 24 fights, and I'm still learning. I'm still uh, improving. And, uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm going to get better. You see Badu Jack in there right next to you. He got a draw. Do you feel like you say that you're still learning? You feel like you're ready for that fight? And can you outclass him? What are your strengths against him? I think I'll be too good for Badu Jack. My task would be to win every round against him. And not and not and not drop around. I think uh, once again he's a good fighter. I think he's come on as a world champion. He's improved as a world champion, but uh, I think once again I'm too much for him. But he's a good fighter. Be compared. It looked like Medina, like I said, was hitting you with body shots and pressure all night. Is that something that you need to learn how to deal with better, or are you really just clowning? Uh, what well, you know what? Paul, once again, look at my last five performances. They've been stand out. They've been against. Perry Ban, Brandon Gonzalez, Darrell, Boue, look who I've boxed. I'm I'm the best swimming away in the world. So I'm saying. So uh, I'm just a bit disappointed in my poor that Paul Kim Medina went 12 rounds with me. You said you want to fight in Vegas. You've fought on the road quite a bit in your career. Is it important to you to win American fans? Yeah, of course. Listen, if you want to make it, if you want to make a proper name for yourself, you have to break America. And that's what I feel like I'm I'm doing a bit. My last three fights have been two, two in America, one in Canada. I've put on some good performances, some in, some in, some entertaining fights. Uh, so, yeah, I hope I'm winning some fans in America. Yeah, I hope I'm building a good fan, but, uh, f- good fan base over here. So before I let you go, to those fans who were booing, who maybe didn't appreciate your performance tonight, do you have any words for them? If she watch me again, I'll be nice. She's watching again on court. Radio right here with James DeGale. Great performance, man. Thank you for the time.